morning, good morning. Hey guys, how are you? Oh, what a day, what a day, what a day. But, okay, so I came on live today through Facebook and I'm doing um, some courses. I'll be posting these on my YouTube channel as well. But I wanted to go back into marketing and marketing your listing. So we're going to kind of recreate that series that I started a few years ago and we're using Zoom. Yes, we're learning new technology and guess what? I think I'm getting it eventually. Now I noticed that my lighting isn't the greatest. You have to bear with me until I figure that out. But so let's get started with, um, with, with what, okay, hold on. I am looking up a thing because I wanted to make sure I hit every point of action today in our video. So here we go, right? Okay. Imagine your brand so well respected, your products and services so excellent, your customers so loyal that your business comes from repeat clients, massive word of mouth, and media, social media, direct media, that sort of thing. Well, this is my New Year's resolution for 2018 is to have these types of adventures for my own real estate business which led me to helping you, the realtor who's looking for the answers. You can get the listings, but have no idea how to sell or market your home or your listings. So why doing the video on marketing? Great question. For far too long, realtors have relied on the pick me, and I call it the pick me method of marketing. Don't get me wrong, you know, that has its place and I myself practice it. But what happens once the client picks me? Ah, the true meaning of why I've decided to help you answer these questions. Now, I know uh, many realtors who actively study sales, right? They study, I mean, I mean, the truth is realtors are in sales. It's a sales position. We are selling ourselves. We're selling our, our listings, we're selling our market, we're selling our community. We have to be able to sell in order to make money. True story. But how many of you really know that marketing follows under that sales umbrella? Now, I know there's like Facebook marketing and SEO and web pages and all these things that are bounding you brum, 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 all day long. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't do another $145 a month program. I get that. I totally, I totally get that. But the truth be told, you can hire all that stuff out. That's easy enough. And yes, that is marketing. But that still falls into the pick me marketing. I'm talking about something totally different, something more interactive than you, the real estate agent, probably realize exists. Now, it's gonna be in depth. I'm gonna try to do this twice a week. We're gonna talk about marketing and how to market that listing. Now, I'm gonna assume that you have a listing, that you have this $100,000 listing or this three million dollar listing right the reality is this marketing tool will work with everything but if you're in a environment where your um, price points are going so quickly on the MLS at 300,000 you really don't need this this is for the one listing that you get say it's 600,000, 700,000, 4 million, 12 million, 23 million, that is this. That's what I'm here for, to teach you how to market that listing. Now, most um, sellers, when I go into a seller presentation, the first question, the very first question they ask me is, Drummel, I don't know how to do a drum roll. The first question they ask me is, what are you going to do to sell my home? Seems simple enough, right? 
what am I going to do to sell your home? Well, the truth be told, we're in that 70-30 market share where we're in this education where 70% listings, 30% sells, and the 30% that you know your listings sell themselves because the other agents are going to sell it, and that is absolutely true. Absolutely true, but the truth is extensive. It doesn't stop there. Truth is, I have to do something in order to sell your house. And you know what? I love more money. I like to make more money. I'd rather double side it. I would. I would rather make a double sided commission than one sided commission. And I would rather sell the house myself. I want to be told that I'm a great salesperson. There was one time I had a listing that the guy said, the other agent is really good at finding the listings but she's not good at finding the buyers. So let's change that, right? Let's change that. So I'm going to define marketing and define marketing programs. That's what this is all about. How to define marketing, define marketing programs, set up marketing campaigns so that you can double side your deal and so that you have an advantage over everybody else who's listening to the gurus right now so they can know, your clients can know that you're really out there to sell their listing. You're not just out there to put a sign in the yard. You're not just out there to say, oh, look at me, I've got a $2 million listing. Ooh, 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 ooh. You're not out there to do that. You're actually out there to work. That's what I'm here to do. Okay, marketing is any organized effort to contact and influence your client. That's what marketing is. Any organized effort to contact and influence your client. Now, we have to influence our client on what? You know, um, the lifestyle, the fact that we build in the hot lava, the great, the great black lava rocks, that we have excellent hiking. I mean, I have to sell my client. My client's coming maybe from California and who would want a summer home or a winter home in the middle of the desert? Uh, maybe somebody who frequents Las Vegas and doesn't like the hustle and bustle of the city. So they're going to come an hour and a half. What is an hour and a half? That's nothing really. To magnificent quietness, areas that have no um, lights. So it's got the sky view all night long. I mean, we have things to offer, but people don't know it. Right. Well, most people don't even know where St. George is. They think we're right next to Park City. No, we're not. Okay. So anyway, so through these videos, we're going to talk about coordinating sales. We're going to talk about advertising. We're going to talk about how to get publicity. We're going to talk about customer service, real, true customer service. We're going to talk about web marketing and having a presence online. And we're going to talk about, yes, guess what? direct mail. It still works. <laughs> I know you don't think it does, or maybe you do, maybe you don't, but it does. It has its place. So the purpose of these videos is so that we can avoid these random disconnected activities and we can help you think about how your actions and how your marketing pieces and how your programs all interconnect and influence each other, right? That's, that's my goal. So with that said, I want to define a product and I'm going to end this video with defining a product. Not pick me. This isn't pick me. This is defining the product. My product is my listing. So with my listing, that's what's on my shelf. That's what I'm going to define. That's what I'm going to build the lifestyle for. That's what I'm going to build my marketing for. It's not me, and it can be me, but it's mostly my product. And that is where this video series is going to come into play, is marketing your listing as a product. That's how it's going to work. So again, imagine your brand so well respected that your product and your service is so excellent that your customers choose you. They do massive word of mouth to promote you, and media catches on. That's it. Okay, guys. Well, twice a week, right? So I'm thinking Wednesdays and Fridays for marketing. So maybe you'll connect with me again. 
and uh, watch my webinar next Wednesday. And in the meantime, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch more.